Check it out, folks. I got myself a Sturm Wagon of my very own. I came over here to investigate this. Well, it's on top of the building. And, yet again, my frame rate is garbage. better. Oh, balls. Too many balconies. Oh, this will be faster. I wonder where exactly Sean learned to do this. When did urban exploration become really popular? Oh, there's an AA tower right there. Well, we're within visual distance of the, uh... La Villette. That's the name of the region. So it would behoove me to take this thing out. By the way, I don't know if you noticed in previous videos, but yes, I can in fact carry 16 dynamite. It is twice the original amount. I just didn't have full ammo the first time I tried to tell you about it. And now I'm going to do something even stupider. I'm going to walk up to this gaggle of Nazis and do this. Turns out there's a perk I have yet to upgrade, I have yet to, uh, unlock. About, uh, killing jackboots with grenades. Piece of cake. All right, then. Where were we? I believe we were going to go do it again. How many of them do I have? Three. Oh, God. Oh, that reminds me. In addition to this handy, uh, terror machine gun, I, uh, picked up this 44 pistol I unlocked for a perk. It's described as a, uh, Yankee six shooter that will turn a, uh, Nazi's guts inside out or something to that effect. And it's probably the closest we've come so far to seeing an actual American in this game. Police! A man is climbing on the buildings! Screw you, lady. like whiskey. Not smart. Everything I know. 
Damn it, I can't throw for garbage. Ow. This is the same one I just tried to, uh... Escape the last one with. Nope, definitely not. Hmm. Down the hatch, as they say. Amusingly, that normally refers to drinking. Well, that was easy. Now I only have two. I wonder if blowing that thing up with a grenade would count. I don't think so. So I'll just take him out the old-fashioned way. Do 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 do. And you can actually cancel a sabotage after the fact. never done it on camera. Once I was trying to set up a diversion, so I stuck some dynamite on a parked car. Except it turned out it wasn't a parked car, and it started driving away. So, uh... Well, actually, one of the things I found interesting about that was that it drove away before he finished the animation, so the dynamite was stuck to the side, but it wasn't lit. Found it interesting that the game would account for that kind of thing. So I chased down the car and got my bomb back from the side. Anyway, I'll go find something more meaningful to do. See you soon. Check it out, guys! I managed a stealth kill of one of the Gestapo agents. Gestapo? Yeah, Gestapo. Oh, for... Stupid pole. Okay. Excellent work. People can listen to radios if they so desire. Another one. Oh, they're not pleased about this, let me tell you. Alright, enough screwing around. I like this gun.
I have one last thing to do in this video, so I'll catch up with you over there. Okay, folks, you might remember this as the Palais Royale, also known as the place where I There's people fighting for you spent there. my most difficult mission very recently. So what in the world am I doing back here? Well... Uh, by the way, that's the one I was talking earlier. Yes, there's a perk for collecting every Nazi vehicle that makes vehicle repairs free, so I'd be able to be quite a bit more reckless with my vehicles. So, uh... I already have... I only have right now the Bauer and the... Sturmwagon. If I remember correctly, there was a, uh... Bauer gas truck here. Okay. I don't know why that didn't work. Was this place in color before? I don't think it was. I guess they don't do that animation every single time you, uh... ...influence a neighborhood. Damn, I think over here is where the truck was parked. Alas, there doesn't appear to be a gas truck here anymore. Oh well, that's no reason to give up. I'll see you next time on the hopefully more exciting episode. The next hopefully more exciting episode of Let's Play the Saboteur.